Welcome back to Persona 5 Row. When we last left off, we got a bit farther into the final palace. Let's get going. Let's continue. Well, my controller dies, so we get to restart. My controller is no longer dying. I may have. Okay. I was gonna say I may have jumped the gun on this person, but this person is fucking. Does not know what the hell's going on. So. We can just ignore them. There's really no point in you fighting right now, because, again, uh, I'm max level, so. Yeah, I was kind of salty when I started playing yesterday, my fucking controller wasn't charged, despite the fact I charged it all night. Oh, fuck. Show me your there, true there is a benefit of fighting, uh, in the fact that I don't have to... I can sit around and wait for them to fuck out of my way. Oh, why is she going to Pretty sure I know has their life to all. We're blessed to all. Life blessed. Same concept. I started playing uh, one step to Eden, uh, one step from Eden again. All Holy right. shit, that game is fun. I, have a complete victory. I am. I'm gonna have to stream that game again. I still haven't gotten a win, which is quite annoying. Okay, I, I guess that works. Surprise attack! Electricity is its weak point. It isn't a major threat, but don't use electricity. You can finish it! Okay. Gabriel! Nope. Shitsune! You're mine. Let's be smart about this. Oh, he just repels it. Whatever shall I do? Check me. I did. Why did I catch you say check me? He didn't. He didn't do shit. Okay. I can see it. Well, I mean, he beat the fuck out of that one, but he that one. Uh, Dionysus is already mostly dead. Okay. Yep. I wonder where the ro fucking I have something. Of course it couldn't be this easy. Show me your true form. Motherfucker. Where are you with blood? Alright. Uh, I counter. Well, it has no weaknesses. Why not try brainwashing it? That's not right. Come! Major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Look, I'm not. I can't remember the point of this person, right? There we go. 
That was fucking stupid of me to try. Oh, fucking hell, why am I so tired? What a workout. I was fine until I started recording. Let's move on. I mean, it's traditionally how this shit goes. All right. So, GDQ starts, uh, in like three or four days. Oh, oh look. Deja vu. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, which... Cool. Uh, I won't be streaming that week, which means they're really fucking on the side of the world. Is he afraid? Oh, it's right on here. That's fucking trippy. This isn't it. You should just run away at some point. Yeah, as long as... Whatever. Actually, I think... Yeah. I can see it's one sec kill. I was just gonna get my MP back. But this works too. Oh well. Not everything can go to my plan. Okay. I can feel it. Up. Not even sure what the fuck I just healed. I'm genuinely confused on that aspect. Oh wait. There is something I need to do up here. That's a strong looking shadow. There's something I need to do Hopefully down here. Hopefully we won't have to fight it. I sh I'm immediately going back up there. Uh once I, I look at this it. and figuring out what the fuck's that direction. What is missing what was missing that caused the research into cognitive science to shut down? Uh, yeah. I gotta pull again. Guessing the answer would be pretty tough, let's go check it out. Yep. Yes. And I know the room. I just I wasn't sure if you needed to find the question before you could find the answer. That sometimes happens in these games. But before we go there. Let's see what the fuck is this way. Looks like a I'm I don't know. And a gold chest. Show me your true form. Now there's no weaknesses. Oh. What's wrong with it? They're done for. Don't forget this feeling, just like I thought. Okay. Leave the noobs and let's go. Fuck off, I need items. And we'll see. Golden dress. Let's see if that's good on anyone. It's a small increase. I see oh, a really nice. strong shadow. Watch out, Joe. You're fast here, aren't you? I'm real pissed if you are. Damn it, Fafnir! 
Is Joker's weapon basically a Joker? It has no weakness. Our best chance is to make it confused. Our best chance is for you to do this. You can literally do nothing else. Well, if it has no weaknesses, why not try brainwashing it? You were. I'm gonna do this. I can do better. That's not gonna help out too much. Die for me. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> You are not a challenge in any sense of the form anymore. Oh, thank you for killing him. Damn, fuck with his armor. All right, it's all fucking dirty. Good job. Let's keep going. Uh, this was locked, right? Yep. Neat. It's somewhere. Oh, there's nothing this way. Oh, that's a sham and a half. Hi. Your true form. Not expecting that. Surprise attack successful. You'll just do it. The enemy is here. But wind won't do much to it. Persona! It's tough. There. Where the fuck's Mickey against Dyson in this bit? Go ahead. I'll try. Oh. Rip you. God damn, I love this game. It's just so over the top sometimes. Okay. I can feel it. Let's keep this pace going. Uh. He's gonna be stupid, I'm not gonna fucking... Okay. I guess crack in the wall. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> eh, wasn't expecting him just to kick it. Seeds is here. Let's go ahead and take it off. Uh, I cannot legitimately say I was not expecting that. I thought he was gonna like jump through it like he did at the fucking casino. Nah, he's just like... Kick the bitch. Oh, green sorrow seed. No, I need the blue one. Blue one's probably gonna kick my That's ass. That's our second will seed. This is going rather well. Yeah, you're not wrong. Anyways. That was a good idea for me to do it this way. I left you alive. Why did I use you alive? Oh, probably because I got past you. Like that. Now you're gonna fucking stop me and not. Dead surgical light. Alright. I'm a fucking idiot. I can feel it. I'm going in the wrong direction now. <laughs> Fuck. Yay! Yeah, I'm not even sure how this one happened. Oh, I, I see it now. 
God damn, this song is so good. Except it's just melancholy enough for me to want to go to bed. God damn, I have to another video. Another video, like the one we watched before. Like, you have spying on this guy's past, but we clearly have no choice in the matter. Watching this is a ticket four is what we gotta do. Damn it! Just hearing it from you is pissing me off. That guy. They've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors, but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. Damn. They told me it's already over and done with. Wait, what did? It... Wouldn't the existence of Shido and all that shit prove that it exists? But why now, of all times? When they first saw my paper, they were positively beaming with excitement. In the research lab in Odaiba? They're not going through with that anymore? Yep. Mm. Damn it. To hell with their concrete evidence. You're a scientist. You need to believe in concrete evidence. That's your whole shtick. How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of Trump victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? Oh no, they're probably in bed with Cheeto. <sighs> It makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because idiot. it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? Sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. I'll look for work elsewhere while I keep fleshing out that research paper. Eventually, I'll prove the existence of the cognitive world. You're already dead. Once I've done that, no one will be able to complain. No, God, he's drinking. Rumi. Jesus. I swear, I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. What asshole just leaving, leaving his friend there to drink himself into like a coma or some shit. So that was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Yeah. Yes, I believe so. Seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down, and his career along with it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. Thank you for the recap, Captain Obvious. It must have been his dream to use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? Fuck off. That isn't an option. Yeah, what she says. If anything, we've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. <clears throat> I can feel it. There's no reason to be an asshole right now, douche. He's very sporadic on how he acts. I need to go down. Like, uh, I went the wrong fucking way. I was supposed to go up. Like, he will Welcome. say one thing. Okay, which up is it then? He'll be like, oh yeah, this, 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 and this. It's all very simple. Oh, so he's. That's what this place is for. But if you want to fucking go back, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not what was said. Oh, thanks for the raid, Stu. Hello, Mr. Mime Cutie and Blake. <laughs> Lama Stampede. That's funny. If you don't know, my name is. Oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Mr. Mime. For those of you who do not know, my name is Gypsy. I'm a variety streamer currently playing Persona 5 Royal. I am in the last dungeon, so if you want to avoid spoilers and dip, I do not blame you. 
Outside of that, Stu, how was your stream? What were you playing? Authorization complete. This yes. Spot. yes, it opened. Let's get moving, Joker. Oh, come on! Is the next question what's Maruki's, um, Maruki's favorite snack? We played some Stardew? Hell yeah! Or something? Probably. Hmm. Now the next question is gonna be like... I, I fucking can't even think of a joke question. Somewhere. It's probably gonna be something highly traumatic. Knowing this fucking game. Hey! Hold a moment. Summer is finished, gonna be starting fall soon? Hell yeah! Now this is quite the change in environment. Where, do, where are we now? Looks like a lobby. This is a psychological exam room. We conduct psychological tests so that we can offer patients the happiest and most ideal realities. If we are interested, please proceed. Oh, if you are interested, please proceed down the hall and through the door to access the information panel. Uh, an exam room, like a hospital exam room. Makes sense. I'm ready to run for food because I'm not sure if I want to play this to avoid spoilers. I hope you enjoy food, man. Like I said, I do not blame you for wanting to avoid spoilers on this game. Perhaps, what an odd place. The shadows here aren't attacking us, they're not looking at us. Don't they want to stop us? Also, they're. When you third eye their outlines of red, it's probably a somewhat hard fight. Probably Fafnir again. Strange as it may be, they do not seem hostile to us at all. Furthermore, I admit I'm curious what this exam entails. Joker hat, perhaps we can talk to these shadows and gather some useful information. Yep, that's... There's a safe room here. What's up, nerd? You are the Phantom Thieves, I assume. What? Gave it away. Normally, I capture any intruders, but this area is free to any who wish to enter. I will grant you access to the exam room, sh uh, should you so desire. Hmm. Allowing intruders so to proceed, how odd. They must be awfully confident in their exam technique, but at any rate, such progression should work in our favor. We should make sure that we get our act straight for this. So what will it be? Depending on your reply, we'll have a response accordingly. What kind of place is this? Do not hear earlier. I see, so you're curious about our facilities. Very well, this is the lobby for the psychological exam- I was right, it's a lobby. Exam room, where we determine if patients are mentally sound or not. Um, Akechi, you might not want to, uh, you might not want to partake in this. We find the flaws and potential issues in the patient's part that even they may not be aware of. Well? And what exactly compromises these examinations? Did I read that right? Comprises, not compromises. Beyond the hall lies a special exam, uh, the special exam room. There, each patient answers three simple questions. Those information panel begin the process. Listen to the question and choose the elevator that responds to your answer. Please refrain from returning to the previous level until the exam is over, though. Alright, bye! Oh, okay, I guess you're also bye. I don't know. Treatment will be recommended depending on the patient's diagnosis. But this treatment, just like any other step in the process, has been designed for the patient in mind. Do not worry. No abnormalities are found after the exam's completion. You will be presented with a small gift. For the sake of your own happiness, we ask that you answer all questions with honesty. Um... So all we have to do is choose the answer we believe to be correct, although I'm a bit hesitant to find out what they mean by treatment. So you have a person's heart, find a path in regret, then distort their cognition. This is just the palace version of what Dr. Maruki does in real life. Wait! But if we make a mistake, does that mean we're going to have to change our... They're going to change our cognitions. Already happened. That's probably confined to the real world here. Probably messed people's heads some other way. Like, maybe they hook you up to some machine and just... <laughs> ah, don't scare me like that. Well, whatever form this treatment takes, I'm sure we want no part in it ourselves. So just have Joker answer, because he didn't have... Or a catchy, because neither of them were fooled by the fuckery. Standing here attempting to imagine it won't do us any good. Though, let's take the exam and see where we wind up. Let's save.
The effect of the cognitive world is weak here. Oh, gee, how the fuck did I know? We can use this place as a safe room. Fuck yes. Let's do it. I should say. I know I've only been going for like 25 minutes, but... They're not, They're not gonna get us! It's somewhere. Probably I should heal. I don't trust what the fuck is in here. Ah, uh, that receptionist told us to start with the information panel. Oh, is that it? I don't know what's over there, though. Oh, it's just a... Rorschach room. Neat. Huh. Is that two bears high-fiving? I don't get to that reference, thank you. I have something. I can't even steal from this place, damn it. What the fuck's the point? I'm a thief, damn it, I'm supposed to steal. Hello patients, here's your first question. One day at school you see that your good friend is being led away by a group of scary people. You want to help your friend, but if you fight them alone, you could easily get hurt. If you go from the teacher, they would there would be no danger to you. But if you don't succeed in time, your friend will most likely get hurt. Which one of the situations you pick? Go after your friend, get help. Once you made your decision, please stand. Uh huh? neither answer is wrong though. Yeah, but this is a medical exam, not a school one. They're trying to figure out whether or not you need treatment. So maybe go with the answer that you think Dr. Maruki would pick. Hmm. So we have to try to figure out which one that Dr. Maruki would pick. Ooh, this is going to be hard. It's hard to be sure of anything whatsoever right now. Why don't we try asking some of these patients around here? They may only be calling them beings, but they still have to take the exam just like we do. Maybe they can help. Let's Welcome. figure out. Oh, thanks for the follow, Army dude. Which answer is right? Right, right. I'm with one of the sides. If we try and fail, at least we gave it a shot. Although I'm not opposed to just plowing our way through the whole exam, but if you refuse the treatment regimen, whatever it is, they're not going to take it lying down. Man, only if I wasn't completely overpowered. TLDR be ready to fight when it comes down to it. Oh, so just every like everything else. You okay, sir? I don't see what's funny. In fact, I'm quite scared. So, okay. Alright, so I'm asking this guy. You guys are dressed awfully fancy. She's in a bondage outfit. I'm in a trench coat. He's got a fucking furry tail. And the guy's wearing a mask. Well. I guess we're all wearing masks, but... Anyway, he's got fucking shotgun shells around his bandolier. How the fuck is this fancy? Have you chosen an answer? Definitely A, if someone needs my help, I'm gonna... I'm doing what needs to be done. Huh? Is there any reason you didn't even hesitate? My reason? Oh, well. Normally I wouldn't share this with someone I just met, but... I was in this exam situation in the past. The difference is, that time I just acted like I didn't see anything and went on my way. I let my fear control me. Pretty pathetic of me, right? I've regretted it ever since. So I've decided from now on, I'm going to help people in, in need no matter what happens to me. <sighs> uh, stuff like that can make you feel totally horrible. That, that's gotta hit home with her. Even if it ends up hurting, you still gotta do... It's still better to go with whatever choice you wouldn't regret later. On board. It sounds like the right answer to me. Thanks. Oh, there's a reason for my well, that's the reason for my answer. And let me guess. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and see ya. Let me guess. The other guy picks option B. There is no right answer. You are going to fight regardless of what happens. Hey. Hey, you got a sec. Oh yeah, so can I help you? Did you decide yet? I uh, chose B. It's sort of embarrassing, but I've never, I'm never on the helping side. Someone always has to help me. I just don't have the courage to confront somebody. Hmm. Now, so you're the type to ask others for help. I mean, that ain't wrong, but don't you ever think for yourself, I want to help them? Of course I do. 
but even if I had the courage to step in, I might not be able to actually help. Hmm. I wonder if there is a right answer here. Hold up. If that's the case, I'll probably it'll probably it's probably best if I go get help from someone else. That way, success is much more likely. Yes. So it's your so it's your consideration of others that made you choose B. Well, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. I'm gonna pick A. Just gonna go with what Joker would probably do. We fucking ran in front of a car before to stop something, so I mean, well, we're not ones to exactly ask for help. You know, both sides. But neither one's exactly wrong, right? I kind of get where both are coming from. What matters is which one Dr. Ruby thinks is wrong. Why don't we collect our thoughts somewhere and talk out our answer? Hey! How about that empty room over there? Damn it. Well then. Let's figure this out. So after some investigating, I think they use this place to test patients' mental states with a questionnaire. We were fucking told that from the start. There was no investigating needed for that. They told us at the front desk. If they find any abnormalities, they will force treatment right away. I'm not sure what it is, but I suspect we should avoid it. Um... So if Dr. Murphy thinks we're fine as we are, we get to skip the treatment. Likely, it may not be easy, but we'll have to try to think like Dr. Naruki whenever coming up with our responses. Uh... Sorry, joke. Am I any good at the kind of stuff the questionnaire is all yours, dude? Well, then. Oh, what should we do? Pick our answer. Yep. Ah, let's come up with an answer based on what we heard. It really comes down to how more people think. Risking yourself to help your friends or take time to find dependable help. Determining which choice is incorrect is quite difficult. Aww. And neither choice guarantees your friend's safety, if you think about it. Neither option seems any more like successful than the other when it comes to helping your friend. What do you mean? Do you have a moment? Your friends may end up hurt no matter which you choose, so that isn't the deciding factor here. The issue is that you may end up getting hurt. That's what we base our decision on. Uh, great joke, you totally got this. <sighs> Guess he's done thinking it over. We should have enough information that we decide. What's up? I'm talking about something else. Right. It's based off what you, it's based off you getting here. I have something. The answer is right it's it's B. Maroki's whole thing is not Fuck. That guy regretted it. It's gotta be this one. What do you wanna do? Because the whole thing, Maruki's whole thing is avoiding pain and suffering. No, abnormal no abnormalities detected in quarry response. Please proceed to the next area. Oh, you too, huh? They're calling this exam, but all we've done is walk along this one path. Hmm. A bad news so far, I guess that really was the right answer. So it's better just run from some shit than try help and find that. <sighs> you said literally downstairs you see boat now, whatever. Maybe it means Maruki believes it's best to find a way to avoid being hurt. It's so running here actually, you can have this. You're passing them out to everyone in here, but I got more than I need. Stronger lip ass. Alright. It appears you've yet to finish the exam though. You'll excuse me. Yes! Alright, everyone, let's keep up. Let's keep it up. Oh, fuck, there's three answers now. Oh, you can't even see the fucking enemy. Alright. And the second question appears to have three pockets below. Right. Let's figure out what we're dealing with. Hmm. What's that item I just got? One amp. At least. That's useless. Let's <sighs> see. Again. In a personal dream that you really, really want to make come true. You've worked so hard to achieve it, but it's not coming to fruition. 
It's caused you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all that hard work is sure to be for naught. Which would you do in this situation? Keep up the hard work, that's not true. Do whatever it takes. Give up for a new dream. It's probably soon. Please be honest with your feelings as you consider your answer. Thank you. Hmm. You don't know enough decisions to gather information. Alright, let's talk. I'm gonna go with C solely based off a conversation we had earlier with Yusuke. But obviously I can't. Can I just go in here and kick ass? Probably could. Somewhere. Why oh, no? You're choosing. This is actually meta. I'm pretty sure I won't make a, a difference. Oh, well, if I have to choose, I'm going with C. Give up for a new dream. I mean, the other one runs appear even less to me. He'll fight even less to me than this one. Huh? What do you mean? Don't you want to make your dream come true? Oh, there are a second. That's like for people who have big dreams, right? Besides, trying hard isn't going to isn't actually going to solve anything. Why wear yourself down for nothing to nothing over some dream? Oh, why wear yourself down to nothing over some dream? It would be a lot simpler to just choose an easier dream. <laughs> yes. Personally, I believe that pursuing something is a wonderful thing. I suppose it depends on the person. Probably, yeah, I got tired of doing stuff like this, so I just quit. If I had a dream I actually cared about, it might be different, but I won't have anything like that. I don't have anything like that. Failing after trying your hardest hurts the worst, that's what it all boils down to, you know? So he's avoiding dreams that might not be true because it's easier. It's not the worst advice, but still. Uh, it's not solid advice either, Chief. Hey guys, gonna take the elevator and see, by the way. It, there's even like a fucking paint thing. To like... In, in response to that old, uh... Then you guys look crazy, you cosplayers or something. This game with this fucking cosplayers. Those look like they took forever to make. I just kind of formed. That would, just, that would just. That is just so awesome. Will you drop in on my stream sometimes? Alright, game, getting a bit meta. Calm down. Um. Alright. Jesus. The heck is this guy? He's so pushy, right? Fucking breaking the fourth wall and shit. <laughs> Tell me your answer. Oh, that then I'll just do with that. Do whatever it takes. Start streaming so I can strike, so I can strike it rich. With how streams blowing up, it's gonna. If this goes well for me. I'd really be swimming in it, you know what I mean? Hmm. So you're doing it for money. But it wasn't, hasn't been as easy as I hoped. Post videos every day, but my viewer count never went and you... I might be having an existential crisis right now. But then I found the mother load. There was a video someone uploaded where he just bashed on some celebrities so bad it was ruthless. And his viewer count was through the roof. That's when I knew I had to do it make whatever. Then I switched over to solely posting bash vids. Lo and behold, my view <laughs> count started to shoot up. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so he's flame baiting. Something outrageous, saying outrageous stuff just for the attention. So all this stuff you're doing is about basically boys down to you talking shit about other people for money, yeah? Yeah, you really nailed it there. People pay on me night and day on the comments. Even They even point me out on the street now. But I'm not doing anything legal or I'm not doing anything illegal or anything. Not doing anything illegal or anything. I don't like that. I don't like when the same word appears twice in the same sentence. And that's better than what I could have ended up in. I walked away from a job because the stress was killing me, but then I became a real burden to my parents for a while. If I'm a famous streamer, I can make enough to survive and pay my parents back, right? Right? Hmm. I. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how I should feel about all of this. You spread negativity, but it's not entirely for personal gain. 
Uh, are you guys gaining any interest in me? Maybe we can come up with some kind of collab together. Yeah, yeah, whatever, just get ready. That one didn't even have a response. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Huh. Alright, that was... Focus. I don't like that. Alice, are you trying to tell me something? I'll help you with. I'm curious what your answer. People here are pretty chatty, aren't they? Not that I mind, of course. Uh, keep up the hard work. Um... Um, dream. Yeah, I guess you could say so. You probably won't be interested in hearing all that, though. Yes, we would. The game's gonna force me as a musician, but I'm still at the point where I can only play out on the street. I work a part-time job so I can afford lessons. In my spare time, I've also I've always record. I'm always recording demos and practicing. Whenever I come up with something I like, I send it out for potential auditions. Despite all that, I'm not. I'm just not getting anywhere. Maybe I don't, just don't have the knack for it. No. But but working hard towards your dream is healthy. You're right, thank you. I was just being hard on myself for a moment there. When I came home from work to lie down in my bed by myself, I just get so worried. When, I'm, when things are going badly, I start to break down and ask myself, how much longer can I do this? But all I can do is believe in my ability. I love music so much, and I have no intention on quitting. Thank you very much. Thank you, very, thank you so much. I hope you make it big soon. You're welcome to see you. Uh, I can't believe I just admit all that complete strangers. That's fine. Do I need to um, do the... Do you prefer perhaps you should discuss it? Do I need to discuss it or can I just pick the right answer? What do you want to do? I, take all I can just pick the right answer. Fuck yeah. What a surprise. No abnormalities detected in quarry response. Please proceed to the next area. I guess we were right, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now you too, who wants to get all serious about stuff, am I right? It's not that we agree with you, we were just trying to avoid the wrong answer. What do you mean wrong answer? There's no right or wrong answers here. Don't get so stressed over this, those guys seem like they know what they're doing. Oh wait, let me give you this before I go. Oh. I handed them out just a second ago, but I don't need it. See you around, cosplay kids. God damn it. Dr. Maruki thinks people should give up on their dreams. Hmm. More accurately, he thinks people shouldn't cause themselves pain in the pursuit of dreams. Something to that effect, the example likely, is likely intended to filter people who are inclined to do such a thing. At any rate, contemplating the complete questions is nothing but a waste of our time. There are five fucking responses here, Jesus Christ. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh man, we got five choices. Brain can't take this shit anymore. Can we just pick a random elevator and be done with this shit? We could. I understand how you feel, but we can't give up before we've even tried. Come on, let's find our question. Is it not gonna. Hey! Fuck! Cat! Based off the images alone, I'm gonna go with either C or E being the answer. Go back uh, yet again. Continue the question. You gained the power to seal people's hearts. Oh. Thoughts, emotions, information. You can seal all of them from anyone in the world. Not only that, you can use that power without fear of ever getting caught in the scenario which sounds closest to what you would do. Steal something valuable. Never steal anything. Why is B the family? B's gotta be it. Steal your own heart to heal. Steal evil hearts to fix society. Steal the heart I steal the one I love's heart. B, C, or E. He has answered the following questions. What? What the this question about us? Well, obviously it's E. Let's roll. Nope. Actually, use your brain. We're not. You're not even trying. Hmm. So the cognitions this time are that we won't get caught and that we can only choose one use for our ability. You should bear these in mind when you <laughs> answer, assuming you have a mind in the first place. 
Hey, Reagan on Bone ain't cool. No, no, no. Yeah, thanks. Uh, but I don't think I was the one being insulted here. Give me. Thank you. Haha! Oh, what are we doing here? Am I just skipping this? Huh! This place. Look outside the window. It's where the elevator leads, right? Well, they did call it an exam room. I could very well be wondering the psychological state of every patient in the room. Even they might have been watching us the whole time, it's so creepy. <sighs> creepy is right, I just wish there was somebody we could benefit from this. Benefit from this. Huh? Let's have some then... conversations. I never got along with my husband. I actually hated him. Alright. But recently I've been thinking me it was all my fault. And now I press woman and I've started to hate myself more and more every day. So that's why I wanted so that's why you wanted to steal your own heart. Oh, worry yourself no more. The stream will instantaneously bring you your head. Come on, man. Damn, they're just throwing treatment at her right away. Her reply was C. Steal your own heart. I right, know. Okay. Admitting to being a problem is pro practically begging for treatment in this place. Let's not see. Huh. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna have to fight this on my well. I have a bad feeling about the less skills we're working. The enemy is weak, but don't relax yet. It's time. There. That looks like over. Nice. Never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. Why didn't I just... Okay. Whoa, looking good. Whatever. You think I'd learn. Oh shit! I'm being raided by Light. Uh, Light. Thank you, Light, for the raid. Welcome, everyone. How are you doing? I got a raid in Dash. Love you. Enjoy. Love you too, man. And I... For those of you who do not know, my name is Jibzy. I am a variety streamer. Why can't I kill this fucking thing? Um, I'm currently playing Persona 5 Royal. I am in the final dungeon of the game. I am in the new, the added section of Persona. If you want to avoid spoilers and you got a dip, I do not blame you. But how was everything? How was late stream? I, I just really wanted to get that out first because of how how people act in these games. How's that? I do have to dash, but you, you're the best. This stream was a lot of fun, hell yeah. I no, give me my money, damn it. How's that? I'm glad to hear that. Don't forget this feeling. Good work, All everyone. I've right. only heard that line about a hundred times. Okay. Hey. Oh, that must mean that they picked the wrong answer. I've always been popular with men. I never had a problem getting a boyfriend, but the person I loved the most would never really even look at me. Then one day I saw him with someone who I feared it was his girlfriend. But I thought if only I could steal his heart. I see that must have been very difficult for you. However, the ideal reality is one where every single person is happy. Such self-centeredness has no place there. Happiness gained by deceiving others for their own is, in actuality, unhappiness. You too can become happy, though. Hmm. I don't think this is the right one. Uh, E, steal the one I will... Okay, so it's gotta be do nothing. Happiness gained by depriving others of their own unhappiness. I have no idea what he means by that. Uh... I can see it. Okay. Damn it. I only have a lockpick. I don't know why the fuck I can't use that. What they're for? Lock the doors and shit. Huh. Grandma. 
Okay, what have we determined? We've determined that E is wrong and E is wrong? What the fuck are the options again? Hold up. E and C. Yeah, E and C are wrong. It's gotta be B, right? Focus. Part of me wants the reward, the other part of me doesn't want to go through all this shit. Also, the only one truly happy is B and C, so mm, I'm just gonna what do you skip wanna do? all this shit. Deduction without handholding. Fuck. Call yourself happy, is that true though? Are you not merely sacrificing your own self? Do not forego your right to happiness so quickly, allow us to provide you true freedom. The shadow, ah shit. I'll swear, it's a fucking M rated game. Fan thieves, could your true intentions be to harm our master? Should there be any rem remnants of deceit in your heart, I shall be the one to eliminate. Oh, just fucking whack him with a oh, knife. That one's just weird. I don't know what it's gonna do. How the fuck do you not know what it's gonna do? Dealt with a hundred of them. Won't be a oh god, diamond. Oh, okay. I don't have anyone who does that. Oh no. One of them just yelled screw you at me. They're so mean in this game. Uh. Firework. Go down. Too bad to catch his ass is frozen. Oh, let's make this for being a failure. That was mean for no reason. You do! Give me money. Yes, yes, I get it. For some odd reason, I feel like that thing's gonna get me banned on the stalking site. So the answer was wrong according to Dr. Spooky. Maybe because the answer gives the impression of suppressing your desires. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps not wishing for happiness is a problem in and of itself to him. It's too bad we end up in a fight, but at least we finished the questionnaire. Let's switch gears and move on. What the fuck is the right answer then? Shit. Thank you for your patience. Your examination is not complete. Please proceed to the counseling room where you maintain your happiness. Most idea of huh? reality. Oh, we messed up, but we still get to go on. Yeah, no shit, we get to go on. The announcement said the treatment room's up ahead. Getting a bad feeling. Hold up. I'm. Hopefully, I can go back far enough. Look at the answers. Fuck. Oh. I'll never know. It was. Is this A? It was A? The f I don't think A was ever on my mind for the right answer. I have something. Oh well, I'm not fighting anything else. They all lead to the same thing, don't they? I'm assuming this is a fight. Let's go in. No? Alright. Whatever. I want the room next to me. I also want to know where the fuck the last Wilsey would be. There's so much shit. This reminds me of. This looks like it's gonna be a Kumara again. It's not pleasant. Whatever. Hold up. How you doing, Ant the Pant? Your, your name is D uh, Dark Blue, and my back. My uh, Twitch is. Uh, Black, so it was very hard to read that name. We can. I don't know why Twitch allows that. We can rest here. We should write something. Hey, save points. No. Let us go. Uh. Whoa. Man, VR sets are getting fucking weird. 
I just, I just figured out the fucking uh, play on words they have on the posters. Happiness is health. Well, unhappiness is hell. Ah, I get it. Someone got paid to make that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's with these guys? Oh, look at those freaking machines on uh, they're wearing. Well, they call this room the place the treatment room. So that's what treatment is. It sure as hell doesn't look like it to me. It's a weird gate type thing over there. Two, let's check it out. All right. I want to go other places. Uh, oh, God, he just... He, uh... Huh. Wait! That guy just kind of vanishes in and out of existence. What the? Alright. You're just passing through the weird wall of what even is that? Attention post-treatment patients. Please pass through the glowing gate. Your paradise awaits you on the other side. Hmm. So they identify abnormalities in the exam room and treat them here. Once someone is certified as happy, they get funneled into that gate. Set on in. Careful, you might get burned to a crisp the second you touch it or something. How about we don't jinx this? Damn it. Oh, okay. Patients may not pass without receiving treatment. Please follow the instructions provided elsewhere to seek treatment. That's not happening. Looks like we really can't go through that gate. Can't we just break the fucking thing? Cut the wires or some shit. So we're about to find another path. Or just fucking do that. See it. Here. Is there a fucking saving right past this? Oh. Hmm. Well, time to watch Sadness. Oh. Another TV! Looks like we got... Looks like we're in for another movie. Oh, but not right now. At least there's no tape in the player. Oh, thank god. No doubt we'll need to find one in order to proceed. Fuck! Fucking game's teasing me. Oh, hey. It's Fafnir. <laughs> hey, look. Another one. Game? Hey! Uh, some scary looking shadows. Make sure you don't get caught. Why? Looks like they've got shadows patrolling the area. Like every area. Make sure no one sneaks up on us while we hunt down that pit. Oops. Ah, it has concentrate, which is very useful for. What the fuck is this? Whoa! Freaky. Is this just a way to like sneak around? I guess so. What was the point? Show me your true form. This game confuses me. Hey, it's Bale. Fail weak against again? Well, if it has no weaknesses, why not try Updates, brainwashing lovely. it? What do you mind? I'll leave it to me! To the next. Dance, Persona! Fair enough. Well, One way to win. Down. Good work, everyone! Uh, of course they... Carry fucking their right. body yet. Why wouldn't they? They were too weak to laser pointer. What's the laser pointer for? Hey, I wonder if the tape's in this room or some shit. To assume it's locked, so. Because that's the only reason you would eat this. I can see it. Uh huh. Yep, there's the tape or the notes. Oh shit. Hey! There's a ton of tough enemies on there. It'd be bad if they come at us all at once. Maybe we should come back later. We might move on. Fuck. Oh. You really want to risk it? I'm fucking risking this shit. <laughs> ah, a treasure. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> I like how the game's even like, you're a fucking idiot for your this. It's sweet, says about one of the most dangerous main uh standard enemies in the game. Probably the most dangerous standard enemy in the game, honestly. I am a fucking idiot. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna be any fucking use. I'll take the four. I'll break them. Yeah. You think I would have learned by now? Oh well. Let's go. Alright. No. Damn it. Forty two is a lot of MP though. Ravage them. Let's hurry that out. I think he swears more than we use each. Let's go. Then Ryuji now, it's fucking we weird. Brandon knows for more than I do. So. Alright. Good work, everyone. One thousand for an un Just a, a completely uncharged right. attack, holy shit. Yep. Not sure why I didn't see that happening sooner or later. Oh. Let's find out what's in the box. It's a videotape. Old videotape. How could I have known? Oh, yeah. Whoa! I just realized the person that's here. Now I can watch the thing. That's the key to our success. Let's get back to that TV room. Uh, should we like fucking detach these people from whatever machine they're on? This is weird. Oh, oh! It's locked, only if I had a permafix. Sorry, wizard desk. Didn't even see if that was for everyone or just guys, the girls, and shit. Oh, okay. oh, it's for the guys. Usually it's not my party enough to care. Hmm. Alright. Oh, hey, look, I was right. It's locked. If only it wasn't so goddamn. Shadow sighted. It appears powerful. Yeah, I mean, something. I've already fought them already. <laughs> More investigating. Shadow spotted. Strength is unlike the others. I can see it. What do you mean it's unlike the others? It's probably like the same 20 before it fucked up. Can't. I can see a shadow. It looks pretty strong. Oh. Joker, show me your true form. Well, I'm being reckless now. We should probably stop that. Yeah, that's about right. This is end game by fuck. I was gonna be a smart ass, and then pay uh fashion showed up. Son of a bitch. Regardless, this is still endgame, and I'm like one shotting everything. Fun fact, crafters. I not get hit by anything, so. That was a waste of a turn. No one on this team is going against me. Uh, we're not. 
my strongest. Mm. Oh wait. You're mine. <laughs> Fuck. There's no way. This is my other self. Surprisingly tough. Of course, the game makes them immune to insta kills. Why? Why did I not just assume that? That's why that is the most powerful. Okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. Thanks for the notification. Victory is ours. Let's go. Insta kill moves. Okay. No, where the hell's is that? Ravage that! Persona! Still hitting him. Joker, you're dizzy! It's gonna be hard to hit him! Fuck! Joker's dizzy, but this might actually fuck him. Alright. Why are you debilitating? I grew up to catch you on! Okay, he's gonna nuke after this. I don't understand the decisions the AI makes in these games a lot. Fucking everything with Nirvana, I get it. What does Nirvana do again? I might just, I just overpower something. Is it in here? No. It. Grace Persona's EN. And is, what the fuck is EN again? Is EN Endurance? No. It's not like it matters in the end. Not, haven't used them so far, why it's there now? Show me your true form! Figured I was gonna have to fight this fucking thing. Now's our chance! Let's go! Beat him up! It has no weakness. We are the better fighters. Use fire attacks to hit its weak point. I did almost nothing. And there it goes. Good one, Crow. We want to make this party. You don't want to skip. Got a On to the next. Damn it, Bale. I forgot I could just do that. Let's move on. Yeah, why the fuck was I even trying? Alright. I have something. As long as Fafnir doesn't show up, I pretty much have an instant kill. Granted, half of these enemies are Fafnir, so you know, there was that idea. Whoops. Why was this site blocked? I don't understand the decisions made sometimes. Hmm. Well, speaking of. You ever play uh, Sly Cooper with that dog who, like, has, like, the buff ass sh shit muscles? But he never worked, he, he skipped like leg day every day, so he just walks around <laughs> with his hands. That's what this guy reminds me of. Huh? What? Beefcake Shadow at 12 o'clock! I can, yep, I'm, I can see. He appears to be blocking the only way forward to the palace. We better prepare. Fuck, that's the locked door. Joker! Ready for this? 
It'll be tough. I'm sure it won't. Are you the Phantom Thieves? We're here to destroy the phony utopia your boss is trying to make. Would you mind getting out of the way? Foolish rebels, you won't take one step past here. Hi, sir! How are you? I am thou. Might want to get Fox out of here. Might want to get Fox out of here. Oh, Violet Spring Crag. So glad you're concerned about me. Alright. Obviously. God damn it, I forgot I was burning. That's going to keep burning! Hey, uh, I don't make good decisions in life. Clearly. Oh, okay. Fuck, it's time to leave. We're gone. Up to you now. Panther, ready to engage. I break that. Why does he know that? Could he rise? Oh, I'm, at 800. I'm bitching at 800. I should heal Joker. What the hell is this game in me? Oh, that's... Oh, crit. Fuck! When I gonna get the full effect of this? is a burn I, I neglect to heal all the time. You'd be dead if you if you weren't burning. I'm aware this is on me, but I'm gonna blame you. It's easier that way. We did it! Everything's going on everything going on here is so bizarre though. Changing people's cognitions and spreading their reality to that happy one. You may consider this form of treatment, but I would assuredly 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 decline such a procedure for myself. Come on. Let's go. Let's move out. We need to stop talking. I need to go back and fucking walk. This is creepy. I don't like this. I have to assume that's the point, but I'm still gonna point it out. Hmm. Hello? Anyone in here? No? Guys, I found the loading screen. The what? chest! Talk about luck! And the shit? Uh. I, I want... Give me the prompt again. There we go. Why was D one of the answers? Where would that go? Okay, I guess I'm gonna find that place now.
can't go in there because I guess I'm not receiving treatment or some shit. Game's not even registering that as location on the map. Which is always fun when they do shit like that. Okay, go back upstairs. Hopefully all the factors didn't respawn. How do I get up there? I have something. Whatever, it's just a blue chest, it's nothing important. I can see a shadow. It looks pretty strong. A second thought, give me a second. I don't know why I just blanked here. SP item. And those probably are going to be useful here. Oh fuck! Just drop in front of a fan. That's not. That's not my brightest idea. Nope. Need to watch the video. Who's ready to be sad? That's probably how this. Is going to go. Got the tape. I wonder what we'll see this time. Hmm. I'm wagering it won't be pleasant. Grab this, we should watch it sooner rather than later. Or we could just ignore it. So, you're Sumire Yoshizawa, huh? I'm Dr. Maruki. Oh, well, we'll talk about getting counselor. fucking real. First of all, thank you for coming to see me. Yes. Thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to discuss. Probably your guilt over killing your I sister. I only came here today because my parents wanted me to. That's fine. So, do you want to just chat until our time's up then? Chat, huh? Of course. It's not really possible for us to talk about things you don't want to discuss anyway. I've also got some sweets and some salty snacks there. Feel free to have at them. Oh yes, thank you so much. So, let's start with, uh... Ah, how about... What'd you eat for lunch yesterday? Mm. I'll go first. The other day, a friend of mine gave me a ton of apples. You ate a literal ton of apples? I've grown tired of just eating them by themselves. Yesterday, I thought, why not try using them as a meal ingredient? So, I tried making an apple dish for lunch. But that didn't turn out too hot. How do you fuck up cooking apples? What do you think I ended up making? I have no clue. Shrimp and chili sauce. Why? With apples. You know how sweet and sour pork can have pineapple in it? I was going for that, but... I have heard neither of those. Well, obviously the shrimp and apple. Sounds like it didn't work for you. Apples do make for good ingredients, though. If you grate them, you can make a surprisingly versatile sauce. I use it in plenty of my food. It's pretty nutritious and good for digestion. You cook, Yoshizawa-san? I'm impressed that you care so much about nutrition. You must be really on top of things. She's an athlete. I'm just active, that's all. I'm a gymnast. My coach has told me more than once to be conscious of everything I eat. I see. How's practice going for you? Has it been rough lately? It has been rough. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle. We're here for an answer. Uh, we're gonna find an answer in here. I don't know what the question is. It's like fucking Jeopardy. But it's Whoops. not going well. I don't even know what I want to do anymore. Sorry to hear it. Do you enjoy gymnastics? I'm not even sure of that. My older sister and I made a promise. We'd both compete and win the biggest gymnastics awards in the world. But she passed away. She protected me from a car. I stole Kasumi's dream away from her. I can't 
do it anymore. I can't just go on like this. If Kasumi were here instead, I know she'd make her dream come true. Only Kasumi could have done it. No matter how long I try to compete, it's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize in here. If there's something you need to get off your chest, please do so. Sometimes, I can't help but think things would have been better if I were Kasumi Ushizawa. After all, just wishing to make her dream come true does nothing for her in reality. Making dreams come true, huh? Well, I don't think your train of thought is strange at all, Yoshizawa-san. In fact, wanting to become somebody else isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing. You... you think so? Everyone is capable of changing themselves. Your imagination's your only limit. That's why, if you aspire to be more like another person, it's actually possible. Thought exercises like, would that person do this? Or realizations like, that person wouldn't do that. These sorts of thoughts can lead people to change themselves in ways that more closely mirror the target person. <sighs> can you still imagine what your sister was like? Yes. If your sister were in your shoes, what do you think she'd do? Well... She wouldn't cry. If she had the time to do that, she'd just practice more instead. Dr. Maruki, I... I want to become Kasumi. I know. And I'm sure you can too. Just... believe in yourself. <sighs> How about it? Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I feel like a weight's been lifted off of me. You're amazing, Doctor. I'm gonna change our voice. It's no big deal. Still, it seems like my counseling approach does some good after all. Alright. I'm not sure how to put it, but... I'm change its name. I feel like I've been reborn all over it's again. Fucking everyone in this goddamn game wear fake glasses. Joker's glasses aren't prescription. Apparently hers aren't prescription. Really? I'm very glad to hear it. I'm pretty sure the only one who wears glasses that eat them is Maruki. Feel free to drop by again sometime, should anything come up. We can even just have a chat, like today. Thank you. Then we could pick up where we left off talking about... Hmm. Something the matter? Now that I think about it, I'm not any good at cooking. I don't know why I said those things earlier. My younger sister's the one who was really great at it. Hmm. Mm. That's right. Kasumi Yoshizawa? Yes? Oh. Nope, sorry. Nothing. I'm like so glad anything. I was able to help you. Good luck with your training. Right. I'll do my best. For Sumire's sake and mine. Was that. <laughs> yes. No. It was a counseling session I had with Dr. Maruki. It was just after Kasumi. After my sister passed away. Both of those would be correct. From that moment on, I lived my life really believing I was Kasumi. It was all due to the rewriting of your cognition. His actualization, as we've started calling it. Okay, but I've been wondering something. So, it was only Sumire who believed that she was Kasumi, right? I assumed someone in your family or one of your friends would have noticed you going by the wrong name right away. Well, I can certainly remember being called Kasumi by everyone else, too. It might be more accurate to say you misheard or misunderstood the name you were being called. Huh. Like everyone kept calling you Sumire, but your cognition made you hear it as Kasumi. So that's why nobody thought it was weird, including her folks and herself. Damn. This must be part of the whole salvation nonsense Maruki's trying to pull over on us. That memory may have been kept here in video form because he truly does wish for Violet to be happy with life. I admit, I really did feel saved in that moment when I became Kasumi, but at the same time, I ran from my life as Sumire. This game is really, really I'm hammering home the point that... I'm grateful for what Dr. Maruki did for me, but I'm done running. That Maruki is not a bad person in this. 
Let's get going. Just a little misguided. Like he has the best of intentions. He's just doing it wrong. It's somewhere. All right. Uh. Now oh, we can open that door. Please answer the following identification. How do many adolescents react when they are close to another who is more talented than themselves? Hello. Fuck. I wish him to be that person. That was not as straightforward as the rest of them are. Oh, hey, look. Um, we did it. Well... Never would have thought I'd be the password to someone's security. Nope, not, not going there. I'm... We're just going to leave that thought to myself. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's a puzzle. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Where are we? I'm pretty sure we're in the sewers from the It movie. Hmm. Well, with all the fucking floating people. But it's change of scenery. We were just in the science lab, and now... Quiet, it's almost as if we're in... Oh, look over there. Oh, you just noticed the flying people. These people are floating away. I guess we do really all float down here. What? What on earth is going on? We're not on earth. Whatever it is, it most likely has to do with Maruki's cognition. So, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Sure, fucking everything in here has to do with that. And say he believes anyone who undergoes this treatment winds up feeling downright rapturous. So he actually thinks he's sending them to paradise. Hmm, Maruki really must really be convinced he's doing the right thing. Why does this game have the incessant need to like explain everything multiple times? <sighs> Back to Maroki. Wanna step out of the treasures above this room, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty close. The real problem is it's actually getting up there. Whoa! There's some stairs, but there's a big old hole in the middle of them. Man, only if one of us had a grappling hook or some shit. They get also I'm pretty sure I've made jumps bigger than that in this game. They got thick looking vines growing up both sides too. Think we can use them somehow? We don't know if they'll support our weight, or rather not take any unnecessary risks. Steps do extend uh, part way, however, so they should there should be some method to turn them into safe passageways. At least that's what prior palace experiences make me think. I must agree, and it looks like there may there may it. And it looks like there may a device for doing just that right there. Can it think it could help? I must agree. And it looks like there may a device for doing just that right over there. They're missing a word in the sentence. There should be a B between the may and a. There may be a device. This game cost a few million dollars to make, by the way. They couldn't hire a goddamn spell check. Um... Well, what say we don't waste any time then? Well, I was just like, all right, assholes, let's go. Oh, what is this? Mm. Uh, it's a light control switch paint, uh, switch board for adjusting the brightness of the color lights. See the light on the gate, the front stairs right now. The color, yep. Joker. Alright. Oh, we fixed the stairs. Here's the vines growing over the light, matches flowers, the light is seen to affect the areas of the immediate area. I wonder if there's any more we can do. Okay. Point is, yep, I got it. Joker, there's a chest! There.
Oh, hey, it's over there. Alright. Shit. Oh, I just climb up again. Okay. Do you people say anything? Nope. This is. God, this is weird. Did you. What happens if I turn all the colors on? I get it now. Press the stairs now a wall of vines. We grew stairs out of vines by making awesome. light squish and we'd be able to do the same with this wall. Yep. Oh. Huh. Yes. Hmm. Should we find any other switches? Okay. Somewhere. There comes a point where the text is honestly just filler because it's Show me your true form. stating very obvious shit. Like, this is an M rated game. Ooh, a rare one. Skills will work. The enemy is weak, but don't relax yet. Persona! And there it goes. Why are you doing the standing split? What the fuck? I'm fucking hell. It has no weakness. Our best is weak to nuclear moves. Let's end this quick death! Victory is ours! One enemy terminated! Show us what you got, Violet! Why didn't I get it? Contest from her. Fucking hell. Oh, okay. I thought I was about to get my ass handed to me. Why the fuck is everyone missing? Ah, uh, deduct points because she's a gymnast. I get it. No psychokinesis. Attack with something else! Persona! Whoop. Singer splits. How the fuck do you keep missing? No psychokinesis! Attack with something else! Oh, it has a void physical. Huh. Whoops. Eyes up, Panther! I did not- I did not know that. Oh god damn it. Lucky bastard. Dance, Persona! Show them, Sondrion! Good job, Violet! What the fuck happened to my baton pass earlier? Oh, no, yeah, no, what the fuck happened to it? Persona! Your mind. I dodged that fuck lock. That could be bad. I can't fucking move the damn, uh, just fire on the damn thing, I'll just give it help. Please fucking die. Thank you. We all did great, huh? Just like I thought. Yay, XP! Alright. Still can't believe that thing had fucked somewhere. Hmm. This is not nearly as bad as what I was thinking. That might not be. It's like we're making loops, people. Why wouldn't we?
So that'll win its diaries. Characters in Chris and Kim in Constellation today. She lost her older sister, and then the accident is now restricting. I couldn't just sit there and watch the stuff for her life. The whole point of my research is to save people. My experiments have taught me I can change her any cognition in my presence. If she can't escape the guilt and pain in her life, all I have to do is make her believe she's the sister. That would be the most direct and efficient treatment I have. That being said, I did have to alter her in a bit for it to be successful. It's my first time altering a cognition so greatly. I should keep up an eye on her and see how it develops. She's not gonna say anything about that. I guess we didn't do this. Lore. She should. I feel like she should say something about that. It's clearly about her. Uh, True form. That, that went into his neck. I actually saw that line. Oh god, he just fucking did It's weak to nuclear moves. Let's end this quickly. There it goes. Good one, Crow. It might not have a weakness. Maybe try making it sleepy. You're all right. Done. On to the next. Persona. Or mine. I could just do this. Game and set. Good work, everyone. All right. To get an achievement at some point, you have to do. That easy, huh? I can. Gods, go in this space, huh? Oh my God! Fucking colors. Oh, we need to match different colors. I mean. I'm not. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> I, I have passed the third grade game. You are you are rated M. You are a pain in my ass. God damn it. Is the will seat just randomly in that hallway? Like, not off hidden somewhere? I'll reveal your true form. That'd be interesting. What the enemy that? is weak. Turn back too much to it. The enemy is weak, but it was. You take your ass and you try to I don't know who was laughing, I think it was Bale and I'm scared. One enemy remaining has no weakness, but we can try overwhelming it with despair. Shitsune, you're mine. So fucked up, you don't need despair on this thing. It's not cool. Yeah, I've never heard her say screw like a pig like that before. Okay. I feel like I need to take a shower. I'm glad I'm glad I didn't hear what you said, but fuck. No. Done. Oh, a huge staircase. It appears to stretch all the way to the top of the building. It's probably where the treasure is at. I'd be like stopping every few seconds, being like, hey, look, another one flying up. We're on the stairs, let's keep moving, Joker. Thank you, game, for stopping me to tell me we were so fucking close. I don't buy. 
Oh, I think that right there is. What the fuck right there? Yeah, there it is. That's the little seed. We might be here for a bit, people. This is so fun. Hey. No big joker. We all agree to try, don't we? Should we go in that direction instead? Mm. Uh, I do sense a little seat over there. It's our fan theme. Just ignore it. Maybe go to check out the air. We get air up you though. Thanks, game for. Is that a rare one? Don't let it get away! I'm just going to knock it down and kill it. Gabriel! There! Ooh, Joker! You're looking cool! Let's go! Holy shit, this thing has over a like, 2,000 HP. That's fucking insane for. Yes! Never mind. This late in the game was not exactly out of the norm. Okay. Is there a or nothing? We found a will seed. Let's grab it. Kinda. kinda stuck. the last big guy I fought. I already forgot what this fucking persona was. Well, oh, it was really like strong. Prepare. Already prepared. Hmm, no fool here. Who the fuck was it? Well, it wasn't Fafnir, I know that for sure, but... Whatever. I should have dislocated. Victory is ours. Do I have all all damn it? It looks like I'm using her as the strongest man uh, mana pool. Man, do I wish you were you stay. I'll take the four. I like how just randomly in a fight. Violet will feel the need to do an entire standing split. Like, that's not excessive or anything. What the hell is your problem? I shouldn't let him do that. Oh, we took down. We took Wilsey now. Now, since leaving something he's behind, it's ours now. Yeah! Yeah, fuck it, I'm going home. I only did that for the XP and the money. I should only do the money, the XP was fucking pointless. Oh, and look, they're gonna fuse like they always do. Crystal of Sorrow. That's 
Whoops. Cut her off on accident. That's probably just like, that's the last full seed. Life aid. Alright. An adhesive that... Oh no. <laughs> that's what I have on. Alright then. Let us... Continue on with what we're supposed to be doing. Hopefully get out of here with very minor issues. I have something. Damn it. Fucking hell, why? Is that a rare one? Don't let it get away. Fuck that, I'm just gonna run away. I have more money than I know what to do with. Huh. I'm getting more money. I literally have over half the money. Damn it, I need to get rid of ring. I don't need the XP. The personas are kind of useless to me because I really don't know how to use them to make summons properly. I'm gonna fucking ignore them. Game? Joker, there's a treasure chest. We can get more money. Oh. I have something. Oh, that's golden has a lock. God damn it. I didn't just block myself off from that, did I? I didn't. Alright, fair enough. Oh, fuck. You wanna fucking pick it? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. That's not... That is not something you sell. Someone's like, where the fuck am I going? No. Need to turn the red off, I think. Right off of blue line. Okay. Fuck yeah! We're done with this puzzle. Yes, yeah, the finish line. We're so close to the treasure, I'm kind of getting kind of nervous. Don't worry, we're not allowed to do this for the next 19 days. I don't care. <laughs> that treasure gets to stay there. That's a big fucking door. Fair enough. The effects of cognition are low here. Is there a safe room nearby? It's a safe room. I have to watch one more video. Go take a rest. Yes. Twilight Corridor. I'm feeling a bit on edge. The Velma room's been yelling at us for the past 25 minutes. Sorry. I get a bit whiny. Hi! I should guide you to my ass here. Let's see if we can do anything here. I've been waiting for you. Please be oh, are you cautious with your selections. Me. 
Are you sure you want one this week? Why did I have this up? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm not getting rid of Siegfried. Are you sure you. select a skill to inherit? This is to fill out the compendium. And once we're done with that, I'm probably gonna turn you into something. I don't know. Sure, as long as I'm keeping this fucking thing. Right. Well, I keep getting rid of this and she keeps coming the fuck back. God, it's far gone. Oh no! Who could have guessed? It's almost as if this happens all the fucking time. Lovecraft, god damn it. Oh, this is just evade. Well, that was worthless. I'm gonna go in here. We're going to watch Here a video. We're going to fight probably Fafnir for the 20th fucking time. God forbid this game still thinks he's a guy. It might be Fafnir. God forbid this game still thinks he's a challenge. And then we're going to call it a day. In the game, I'm not sure what we do for that. It looks like there's a tape of the player. <sighs> this is again, I really hope it's the last one. They seem to be growing more and more recent though. But do we have to in store this time? Who cares? Hmm. So, what brings you back here after all these years? Uh. That's a comprehensive study on the research you tried to shut down all these years ago. Hmm. I know how to read. <laughs> what I meant was, why are you bringing this to me now? Oh, yeah, why? Oh, this is just a quick visit out of spite. <laughs> okay. I wanted to show you in person that I found the concrete evidence you had discontinued my research over. So it appears. I'll admit you've impressed me on that point, at least. But such praise does nothing now. All this discussion is in the past. Why can't you just let it stay there and move on? Ah, uh, no can do, Professor. Cognitive science has made too great an impact on this world to be abandoned like that. W what are you saying? The psychotic breakdown incidents. The sudden changes of heart in adults that the Phantom Thieves claim to make. Yeah. I'm nearly willing to call these events concrete evidence of cognitive science in action. How about you? Uh. And the one person pulling the strings in the background of this, Congressman Masayo Shishido. Oh, hey, you figured it out. He seems to be confessing to all sorts of crimes now that the Phantom Thieves have changed his heart. Oh, this was years very ago. Recent. Shido took notice of my research, stole it away from me, and made others develop it for his own gain. Not only that, he used cognitive science somehow to induce the politically motivated psychotic breakdowns. Now, you're heavily involved in that series of events, aren't you? What are. What are you planning on doing with me? Nothing. No. Oh. Nothing at all. As I said before, I only came here out of spite. That <laughs> paper, my work, is going to change the world. Literally just came here to shove change it in your face. The world. And where's the money for that? Where's the power to do it? You're no Shido. What can someone like you actually do? That paper there is just the first step. I've learned how to change the cognition of not just an individual, but all of humanity. And I will do it, no matter how long it takes. Apparently it took him like a week. 
Eureka! Enough of this dribble. Get out of my office and don't show your face here again, hear me? Oh, that was the form of the palace. What is this? Oh. He fucking did. Oh, this is the day before hmm. Christmas. What's your problem now? Huh? You... You don't see this? The sky just... The time has come. Ah. This voice... Uh. Oh! The time is finally at hand. I am the other you, dwelling in the realm of mankind's hearts. The other... me? Wait, the realm of mankind's hearts? This dude's losing his fucking mind. Are you telling me that this realm is... You may have no knowledge of it. But I have been at your side for much longer than our current meeting. Who the fuck is this voice? This does not sound like the voice of some, like... High, powerful... Finally, your reality Godlike the entity. The hearts from which I came have truly become one in this moment. Now, the time for your unjustly persecuted ideology is at hand. I am thou. Oh shit. That's it. I finally get it to think it'd be so. <laughs> okay. Hey, what are you mumbling about? I told you if to. If you're gonna have out. a psychotic breakdown, don't do it in front of me. Yes. I'll be on my way. He's evil finally. now. Now I can finally. To think he was the one who stymied Dr. Maruki's research. It always, always goes back to that asshole. You know, I've been wondering ever since we saw the earlier video, do you think there was some kind of connection between my mom's cognitive science research and Dr. Maruki's? Oh, you mean them being so fucking linked together they're the same goddamn thing? No. After he crushed Maruki's chance at researching the field, he had his own pawns do it for him instead. Although I doubt Shido's researchers knew anything about the subject in the way Maruki did. That sounds exactly like the kind of plan that man would scheme up. That bastard! Wait, uh, now's not the time to get pissed about that. Let's get pissed later. There's another thing about that video nobody's mentioned yet. That being that appeared near the end was most likely Maruki's persona. Mm. The sky did turn red like that. I wonder if that was the day we fought against the God of Control. What do you mean you wonder if there's no chance in hell it wasn't? Lady Lavenza did tell us that reality and mementos were merged together during that time. As you've all seen for yourselves, a full awakening to a persona can't happen unless you're within the metaverse. That would mean Maruki really did awaken to his persona in that video. And at the same time, he attained the ability to meddle with mementos, the cognition of the masses. So it is just as Lavenza had told us. Wow, he got really fucking lucky, didn't and The sheer number of coincidences necessary for this to happen is just... <laughs> Even the game's like, yes, we are aware of how fucking stupid this is. Just go with it. At any rate, now we have a better grasp of past events. I'm fairly certain that was a memory Maruki wouldn't want us to have seen either. Yes, because all the other ones are... He was just fucking throwing them all willy-nilly. Yeah. We don't have the time for these questions anyhow. Let's go. Come out of this fucking place. I know how I'm going to play this out now. So, once I get the route secure, I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow, I'm going to drain all of the goddamn days until we actually do the final fight. And then the day after will be the ending of this fucking marathon of the game. What happened to America this catch? Yeah. I'm fully awakened. Oh, hell yeah. It's open! Shall we press on? The church is close. Oh god, there aren't any other reading posts in the sky. Map doesn't show any more areas behind him, though. Probably the final hurdle! Looks like a tough fight. Let's go. Is it gonna be Fafnir again? You, I can't believe we made it this far. Yes. You ought to underestimate the Phantom Thief. We're not backing down now. Let's us through. Time for salvations up. 
Oh, it's a hand I won't let you in the fear. Huh. Siegfried, how are you? This is my other self. <laughs> Either this guy is stupidly high level. Strong and immune to physical strikes? Brute force won't work. Or I really don't have an arm for that. I feel like Fafnir would be a harder target. Oh. Whatever. All right. Oh. Crow's got some moves. No. I might not want to do that. This is the final fucking spot. That should do. Persona! Let's finish this. Persona! Nope. I'm pulling back. Let's get this done. Persona! Crow is looking to shot. That's maybe that for Crow. I know in the shot you never saw we do. It doesn't sound like I'm being urgent. Oh, I for that. Go down. Oh god, it's the eyes. Yeah. This guy has a fuck ton of health. Stop hitting him! No. I both of you. He's pointless for you, she's pointless. Guys, are you pointless? Thunder. Let's bring Ryuji up for one last fight, I guess. Persona! Hey, I brought you out for no fucking reason. Ravage them! This wasn't the final fight I probably would do facing all the sun people. Face change? What the fuck does that mean? That might be bad for me. Strong and immune defense. Yeah, I don't Fang Spirit! Does not matter. <laughs> right, I need to read these like new personas. Fast. They're not fast, they need bios here. Hey, give me something that's not gonna be over like one. How the fuck are you still alive? That's that's your final move? 26? Oh you poor bastard. He's a 500! That bar didn't move though. I don't understand what just happened. We should have died from that fight, that burn, but whatever. We did it! Yes, yeah, so let's move to the treasure. Let's go. What the? This is. It's literal Eden. What the fuck? This appears to be quite the paradise. 
I assume Maruki's trying to convey that the world will turn into something like this if we allow him to abuse his research. A paradise. Wait, but this is a dead end, right? And we still haven't found the treasure. Look again. The shimmery thing? Holy shit. No doubt about it. That's our treasure. That also means we've secured our route. All right. All we got left is send in the calling card. Oh, wait. How are we supposed to do that this time? That's right. Dr. Maruki's been here in the palace this entire time, hasn't he? I'm sure Maruki's well aware that the Phantom Thieves send out their calling cards the day before their heists. Considering his actions up until now, I highly suspect he'll attempt to directly intervene in some way that day. My money's on him trying it with Joker. Mm. Good point. In that case, I'll leave the calling card in your hands, Joker. We could just set up an ambush and destroy him once he steps in our trap, too. No way are we doing that! Our goal in coming here is to return reality to its original state, not to beat up Dr. Maruki. We are going to end up beating the shit out of him. That's why. It was merely a joke. After all, you're all well aware that Maruki's influence on reality goes well beyond this palace. If we make the wrong move in here, we could get eliminated outside the palace, since we lack our personas there. It'd be a safer strategy to change Maruki's heart, just as you all wish. We're finally changing his heart. No, we're not. If we steal Dr. Maruki's treasure, everything will go back to the way it was. We're not doing it. We're not doing not it for just sure, yet. We got but most like likely. three weeks to kill. Yeah, of course. We've all come so far. We can't just give up now. We gotta stick to our own reality. About the time limit. Dr. Maruki told you it was February 3rd, correct? Correct. Yeah. He isn't like anything we've faced before. We should get as strong as we can before that fight. I'm max level. Literally everyone is max level. What would you like to do? Not yet. I make sure I you don't know what to This is so fucking weird. Huh. Even even if this is fake, even by the game's like world's standards. The fact that like I'm pretty sure this is the first game I've ever played where you legitimately go to the Garden of Eden. I just want to walk around a bit. Fuck. Oh, we can finally rest. Escape the palace. Wait for the pr promised state of. Yep, you think I'd learn how to fucking use the map where the map button is by this point, but now. Where the hell is the exit? Oh, I was running into the fucking bar, I guess. Okay. I guess we can... I guess all we can do now is prepare for the Day of Fates, so what now? I just want to head back. Bring the world. Leaving back in the palace. Yes! Yes! Let's build up our strength until then! What the fuck do you mean that's already done? Something's bothering me. So we talked about how Dr. Maruki might contact us, right? Right? Is our home only our best guess? Really hope that's not the case, but there is a chance we he may not show up until the deadline to give us. For real? I didn't even think about that. Well, we can't discount the possibility entirely. I'd say the chances of that occurring are slim. The man sees himself as a downright saint. I don't see him suddenly going back on his word. Can you agree, Ren? I guess so. 
Right? If he wanted, he could just erase us all from existence. Not only that, giving us all the extra time does us a lot of good on our end. And there's still so much about Dr. Murphy's power we don't understand, but that's true. We need to use this time well and prepare for as much as possible. I shall take it upon myself to remaster our calling card into a true work of art. Yay, we're good now. What a pity. We don't know what Maruki will show up. We don't know when Maruki will show up at the line. It's not going to change. Let's start preparing until then. Well then. By the way, I'm not watching fucking. It's somewhere. I don't. I think I legitimately just have to go to that. I could do something. You can still see, like, the world flashing. Whatever. I'll just add this. When we return, we will. Get rid of all of the days until the rookie hacks. So, I guess next stream is just going to be preparation, uh, cleaning up as many loose ends as I can, and then the stream after that will be the finale. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.